Yeah, I always say the same thing because I'm often asked that question. James Brown, his first appearance uh, with Letterman in uh, 1982, uh, I think he may have heard me playing some of his music uh, in, in, in those ins and outs of commercials and actually through his agent requested to come on. Hmm. And you know, this guy uh, just blew me away uh, when I saw him on that Tammy show in, I don't know, the year probably 65. I'd never seen anything like it. You know, Michael Jackson saw that show too. Oh yeah, and, and of course it, it's no secret how much James Brown influenced <laughs> Michael Jackson. But he influenced all of us kids, and it was the first time that the white audience had ever seen uh, an act like that, and James Brown specifically. So much soul, so much excitement. He was Mr. Excitement, he was the godfather of soul, and here he was coming on Letterman to play with my band, and just uh, two, he brought two horns, and of course I only had a four-piece band, just the guitar, bass, drums, and me. He brought his two horns, and uh, we said, what do you want to play? He said, well, what would the band like to play? And these were the days, and now, you know, on, on all of these talk shows, there's one musical act which appears so late in the show, after the very last commercial. I don't know, they're, you know, they're, they're talk shows after all, you know, and music uh, out of necessity, uh, secondary. But in those days, we were playing two songs with these artists, barely had time to rehearse them. Anyway, we said, what song, he said, what songs would, would the band like to play? This blew us away, so I opened it up to the floor, and of course uh, you mentioned uh, Hiram Bullock, uh, the late great, uh, one of the greatest electric guitarists that ever lived. He said, "I'd like to do." There was a time with him where he where he demonstrates all the dances because of the guitar, the great guitar that was on that original record. And Steve Jordan, uh, a, a star producer now, was my original drummer. He said, "I love Sex Machine because of the, with the drums," you know. Uh, and so I sent though he, he said, yeah, let's do those two. And it was just so exciting when he started to uh, sing, and you can say ass, uh, uh, you know, uh, 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 this hour. It's, it's, Shake it's, it's, that it's ass of his, you started to play. I never thought that I would be involved in music so good. That's all I know. And it was like magic. And then he said, he heard us doing another one of his tunes. He says, do you know what I'd like to do right now? Before you close, he said to David, can we close with, I got the feeling? And we went, whoa, you know, and we did that one without any rehearsal, a third number. He took over the whole show and David Letterman was only too happy to let him do that. <laughs> Mr. Brown could do that. Yes, and uh, boy, I'll never forget it. And then afterwards, uh, he said, come Paul, you know, I'd like to see Paul in the dressing room. And this was like an audience before, you know, with the Pope except it's James Brown, and I came into the room, and so a lot of people have the same story. He is sitting there under the hair dryer, because, you know, after he performs, he is spent, and he's a mess, and his hair, you know, perfectly coiffed is the, uh, down, you know, to, to his waist. He, so he's got, it's in curlers, and he's under the hair dryer, and he's talking, and he's a little bit hard. He's got a heavy southern accent, hard to understand anyway, and he's like, jump right now. And I'm, you, I found myself kind of coming in and getting close to him and getting on near the hair dryer, but the sound of the dryer, mm, and I can't hear him. And then I realize I'm sort of down on my knees, you know, <laughs> exalting the king of soul, and I couldn't have been happier, it was, couldn't have been righter. And I was happy to be down there, and I learned really, literally, at the feet of that mask. I, I would have loved to have just put the cape on him. As, as a... By well, the by the way, I want to I want a copy of the picture you took when he was at my knees. Yeah. Okay, which, <laughs> it's not that kind of show. 